Hello students, the greatest piece of online person welcomes you and uh, today we will discuss uh, like this is like important topic uh, just I given the what is the like orthographic projection and pictorial uh, projection in last module. So this is the first uh, very important topic for your engineering drawing. From here we will discuss the main, top, main topic for your uh, uh, drawing part okay. So today we will discuss projection of point tomorrow, day after tomorrow we will discuss about plane projection, line projection and solid projection. Then your module is just going to be over. And last module for your um, safety, I will just provide. Okay, so just listen properly now. In yesterday module, just we have discussed like a basic theory about points and everything. Okay, what is the orthographic projection? What is the like pictorial presentation? Everything. But whenever like sir, pictorial present presentation just is not in our syllabus. Okay, so what happened? Uh, we need not to just uh, bother about like what pictorial representation of this. Whenever someone asks you projection of point means sir, it, by default this projection means sir orthographic projection okay so any person just asking you about projection uh, only we need to just find out this uh, orthographic projection and we need to just find out in uh, orthographic one is just top view second just your front view okay so this is only two work uh, if you find out top view front view and uh, that is going to be your orthographic projection so before we start of the our orthographic projection of point i need to just recall the what do you mean by point so point is nothing sir point is a small point means that there is a no width no length and uh, no sir height okay so that is known as your point for example sir in 3d this is the point okay this is that point so here we will see projection of point projection means by default this is the orthographic projection in orthographic projection we need to just take front view and top view two things are our now i am just taking this one example just i need to find out there are top view and front view sir this is okay if someone asking me sir like uh, orthographic projection so what uh, like basically sir four types of orthographic projection first is just first angle okay second second angle third angle fourth angle everything just uh, we discussed about in last module and in idea we just use first quadrant uh, operations or like first angle projection so just find out first angle projection top view front view your work is over okay i will just also give like a second view third angle or fourth angle everything in this uh, example then you will just get more clarity in a last module and uh, that's why just the extra module just i am providing here just go through with this total module and just try to understand for example this is the question point a is a 40 mm above horizontal plane and 60 mm in front of vertical plane draw its top view and front view what this is telling about only one thing is there means this is the telling this is your first angle projection okay this is the first angle projection sir this is your vertical plane this is your horizontal plane now sir what happened our point is just situated our point is just situated in space okay in in a first angle okay like this is a, now this is 40 mm above horizontal plane okay so this distance from this point is just given 40 mm this distance just given 60 mm so just only your work is just find out top view and the front view if two things uh, then your uh, work is over now we will discuss sir here point in first quadrant so we will just use here first angle projection we have discussed what is the first angle okay so there are four steps where we will get uh, very importantly first of all find is top view secondly just front view just combine both and rotate 90 degree clockwise okay then you will get a projection of uh, this point okay this steps are not only for point for line for your plane for your solid everywhere you will get same step okay so try to understand this topic now sir our work is over now sir we will just apply i, I need to just find out this uh, orthographic projection for this example i will just show you how to find out we will just apply first step okay so our step first is nothing sir we need to find out top view okay so how to find out top view for example this is our space and this is the point so we need to just see from this this is known as top view okay so we will get a point here this is the point here but sir already we know where you will get this point on this from this x y okay this is the x y line from here what is the distance sir this distance is 60 mm or not just see we already define from this plane to this point distance is just 60 mm that's why this distance is also 60 mm so from x y line we will get this projection of top view okay top view will get from here and this uh, distance is 60 mm this is very important i need to suggest again just listen one time more just see for example sir uh, we need to just find out top view 
we need to find out its a top view okay so just to see this is a point now sir we want to just find out top view okay so this is top view and we know sir this is the xy plane okay this is the xy plane xy line so from here to here distance is just 60 mm this is the given in question like from vertical plane to point just distance given 60 mm okay so once you watching from top you will get a projection point here okay you will get projection point here but sir from this xy this distance is just 60 mm or not same distance like 60 mm just transfer to here okay so this distance is just going to be 60 mm okay so this work is over now sir we need to just find out a step second front view so what is this front view you need to again draw its a diagram and okay don't go in a drawing okay only this is the free sketch i given in nodes everything so this is the again but we need to just find out this front view okay so front view from this side so once you will get you will get this projection here okay but sir from this uh, xy line from this xy line distance from this to this or not 40 this is because of already sir this distance given in question 40 that's why same distance here so sir if we combine both of these then we will find out this a dash point and a point okay so a dash is nothing sir this is top view sorry front view and a is sir your uh, top view okay so all things are there now we need to just uh, like a move clockwise 90 degree clockwise just third step or not very important listen a step by step first step we just find out the top view second we just got the front view now combine both and rotate clockwise so we are combining here and rotating this view clockwise 90 degree okay once you make clockwise 90 degree we will get because of vertical plane a dash point is fixed okay and this x y line is fixed now this we move 90 degree horizontal plane come below and you will get this types of structure but sir question many students this confusion will get for this uh, dimensions okay what is this exactly uh, distance because of this is important point how to find out in last module just i given in a last uh, like a lecture or like la last statement just i provided this so just try to read so this is just about top view from this top view we are getting a 40 mm distance and from front view from top view we are getting like 60 mm and from top view front view we are getting 40 mm two things are there okay so top view same mm will run 60 mm ka distance xy line se. this is the top view okay fir uske baad mein humne front view dekha iske baad mein humne front view dekha so whenever just you are watching for front view you will get a dash point and from xy line from xy line this uh, distance is just 40 mm okay now your work is over what happened guys only two things you need to do again i need to just suggest just listen properly now just uh, first of all find out your uh, top view second front view and third combine and rotate 90 degree so we just got uh, only two things are important front view okay front, top view okay only very important point here how you are putting dimensions okay dimensions for this point is just given in question 60 mm from hp horizontal plane and uh, 40 mm above from your uh, this uh, horizontal plane and uh, 60 from vertical plane so you need to just you need to just situated this point on this plane and then you need to just find out top view what is this distance in front view what is this distance if you know this like everything definitely this uh, like all points are over and you will get uh, this uh, orthographic projection for point okay now just to see for second angle third angle fourth angle everywhere you will get say but very important point sir in second and fourth we will get overlappings overlappings in the last module just i given because of sir once you move clockwise then we will get this types of overlapping okay so both of points we will get in uh, like above the whole xy line okay so in a second angle what happened in second angle projection we will get both uh, lines above like both points a dash and a above this uh, horizontal line or xy line in fourth uh, angle projection we will get both below the line so this is already just i explained in your last module module eighth just uh, i need to just again suggest uh, sir uh, in a second angle projection what happened so this is like your uh, plane 
okay this is the first quadrant this is the second quadrant means sir we have point here so whenever we have point here just like this is our point so what happen once you are watching from uh, this uh, front view you will get one projection point here this sorry from top you will get this point from front you will get this point once you rotate 90 degree clockwise then both points projected or not means you will get this types of structure or not but sir x y line so in second angle in second angle what happen x y line so you will get every point above x y line this is the very important point this is the very important point okay from second angle and fourth angle any question will ask they will ask front view and top view in second angle projection will become above the x y line in fourth angle both below the line okay and uh, in your uh, first angle projection your uh, front view you will get uh, just see where you will get uh, front view front view you will get on vertical plane and uh, where you will get uh, top view top view will get on horizontal plane okay so below the xy line so our top view just below the xy line and front view above the uh, like uh, xy line okay so this is again very question so different kinds of questions uh, they will ask i need to just suggest all students just go through with uh, all uh, like last module and this module try to read understand try to understand these topics okay so like this module just i want to just give one uh, again idea yesterday just we have discussed like orthographic projection what is the orthographic now we will discuss sir first angle projection or third angle second angle fourth angle any view just they will ask i will show you for example i am just taken this one question okay three steps are there mainly four steps okay F find out your top view find out your front view after that uh, just combine them just properly make uh, dimensioning there okay finally just uh, like a clockwise 90 degree you will get a top view and front view three questions uh, definitely here from this in first angle sir our uh, like uh, top view we will get uh, on our uh, horizontal plane or below xy line and sir our front view uh, we will get on vertical plane or above x y line okay so this is one point from this point or you will get or not so this is the first point first point sir means our first angle whenever just we use first angle projection 99 percent we use our this first angle projection in india okay so that's why first angle only important for you but for upsc they will ask different kinds of question that's why i'm creating like different kinds of question okay so in first angle what happens sir our uh, top view you will get in below xy line okay reference line and your front view above xy line in third angle this is uh, totally in third angle projection you will get this opposite okay means sir our top view on vertical plane or above xy line or front view below xy line okay so this is our similar case for your second angle and fourth angle okay both points just uh, top view and front view above xy line for second angle for fourth angle both below the line okay so these four points are very important just listen properly ma aapko fir se hindi mein bolna chahta hu mera is uh, like extra module provide karwane ka yahi motto tha ki aapko char cheeze samajh mein sir jo bhi hota hai four steps mein hota hai whenever we need to just uh, make any orthographic projection uska matlab koi bhi projection aapko bole drawing karne ke liye uska matlab directly yahi hoga ki orthographic projection hai sir humne last char module matlab char examples dekhe the last module mein first angle second angle third angle fourth angle kya hota hai so first angle mein kya hota hai sir 99% india mein first angle use karte hain aur jo america wale hote hain wo third quadrant wale operations ko follow karte hain that's why first angle hamare liye bahut important hai okay lekin second third aur fourth bhi important hai main aapko bataunga wo kaise important hai so first mein humne dekha sir कि फर्स्ट स्टेप होती है फाइंड आउट इट्स टॉप व्यू ओके सो हमने टॉप व्यू फाइंड आउट कर लिया फ्रंट व्यू फाइंड आउट कर लेना उसको दोनों को कंबाइन करना और रोटेट कर देना 90 डिग्री आपको एक व्यू मिलेगा सो so, सर आपको फर्स्ट एंगल में जो व्यू मिलेगा उसमें एक पॉइंट है वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है कि आपको हमेशा जो टॉप व्यू है वो हॉरिजॉन्टल प्लेन पे मिलेगा और जो फ्रंट व्यू है आपको वर्टिकल प्लेन पे मिलेगा एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट की सर जो एक्स वाई लाइन है उसके बिलो आपका टॉप व्यू होगा एंड उसके अबाउ जो आपका फ्रंट व्यू होगा ओके सो ये पॉइंट आपको क्लियर होना चाहिए और लास्ट वाले मॉडल में हमने देखा था सर फर्स्ट एंड थर्ड अपोजिट होते हैं सेकेंड एंड फोर्थ अपोजिट होते हैं सो so, अगर सर इसमें आपको टॉप व्यू एक्स वाई के बिलो मिल रहा है तो आपको थर्ड एंगल में उसके अबाउ मिलेगा जस्ट चेंज द स्टेटमेंट जस्ट ट्राई टू लिसन प्रॉपरली अंडरस्टैंड प्रॉपरली इन सेकंड एंगल सेम सेकंड एंगल एंड फोर्थ एंगल जस्ट अपोजिट सो व्हाट एपन सर सेकंड एंगल में क्या होता है वी विल गेट बोथ फ्रंट व्यू एंड टॉप व्यू ऑन अबाउ एक्स वाई लाइन बट सर सेम केस ओके इन फोर्थ एंगल यू विल गेट बोथ बिलो बिकॉज ऑफ बोथ आर अपोजिट इफ यू नो दिस फोर पॉइंट्स डेफिनेटली लाइक योर लास्ट मॉड्यूल ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी क्लियर दिस मॉड्यूल इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी क्लियर एंड नेक्स्ट टू मॉड्यूल्स ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी क्लियर only fourth step 
four steps for any projection like uh, front view top view for solids also okay so find out top view front view make a clockwise rotation of 90 degree you will get your uh, actual design for this things okay so this is the module guys uh, and uh, tomorrow we will discuss our next module so thank you guys for watching this video and try to read this uh, last module and this module with interrelated okay this this module just related to your last module and the last module just related to this module okay so first of all go to eighth module just watch this again watch this and after that uh, go to eighth module and then come to here so once you make revision then you will get more confident about this what concepts i need to just suggest okay so thank you guys for watching this video thank you